Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Classroom Manager add-on to get a list of your classes. So I'm assuming by now you've uh, installed it. If you haven't done, uh, you can watch a video um, to sh show you how to do that. Um, but if you've done it and set it up, it will have created these uh, pages on, the, on your spreadsheet that you can see on the screen now. Um, the main one, the first one of which is the GSFE class page on GSFE CLS. Um, and this is where it's when you ask for a list of classes, it will put them in here. Um, on the website, it explains what these columns are about. I'm just going to show you how to how it works. So if you go to add ons and get classroom manager and select the admin menu. Um, there's various options. The one you want for this is the classes one, and you want to list classes. When you select that, this window opens up. Um, so you can select classes for a specific teacher um, and get teach classes. Or what I mainly use is this section down here. You can specify, um, or you can filter for to get just some of your classes, not all of them. But if you want all of them, um, you can just click the Get Classes button. I'll do that and it will get them. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll just explain this. So you can specify that you want them for a particular section uh, or particular class names or owner's OUs, owner's email, um, the course state. So um, that can be either archived, active or provisioned. Um, you can get them for, uh, you can filter it on description heading. So all these filters work on um, a partial match. So if you put oh, in my um, domain, I put in the description heading a class name, which includes the academic year. So it start, they all start with 1920 or 1890, 1819 or whatever. So if I wanted just the classes for 1920, 19 stroke 20 in there. You can combine these filters. And if you have more than one filter, you can specify that the classes have got to match all the filters or match any of the filters. Um, so that got that list of 12 in just two minutes, uh, 0.2 minutes. Um, in my school domain, which has got about a moment, 2000 classes that takes about four minutes to retrieve them all. So this is the data you get. So the data in yellow, you can't change through the add-on. Um, everything else you can change. Um, and the website gives you uh, an explanation of what to do, how to do it. Um, but if you wanted to change that, that you want to change the course name. So you make the changes, whatever you want to change over here, and then put a Y in there and click update. It will run. And it'll tell you it's updated. If you want to delete a class, put a Y in there and choose delete. And that will tell you it's deleted. Um, and you can do more than one class at a time. And then finally, if you want to add a class, Um, you need to just add the class owner and the course name. Um, you can add these other details as well if you wish, but they're not essential. Uh, and then on the add button, and it will go down the list looking for any that don't have a course, any rows of data that don't have a course ID. And when it finds one, it will add that as a new class. And when it's added it, uh, it'll show you the course ID, it'll show you the course creation date. It won't populate the under organization. 
Uh, it'll show you the class link and the enrollment code and whether it's uh, whether guardian, guardians are enabled or not. Um, but here is to change the course date. I'll show you the course date as provisioned because it's just been created. Uh, I think that's enough for one video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.